Well, I picked up another Sibo D4. I used to have one a while ago in that uh, kind of piano black color. And uh, I ended up selling that off because I just didn't have room for it. And now, you know, that I'm... Now that I have off-site storage spaces, it's like I have room. And it's like, well, it's, you know, an interesting design. So it's like, eh, why not? So, what makes it interesting? It's kind of the filtration setup here, because it actually draws air through the uh, pre-filter here, instead of uh, most canisters, which would have the motor vent, like, right behind the bag chamber. This actually has it uh, drawing air through the pre-filter, and then it comes down here, where it goes into the motor. And then it has a uh, post-motor filter. Mm. I guess that's stuck on something. I'm gonna have to fix that. But, um, yeah. So, I mean, it's just kind of a little bit of a different setup compared to the conventional canister. And I think this is only around, you know, two years old, so I don't know why the, don't know why they donated it, but, you know, whatever, means I got another one. <laughs> but anyways, uh, unlike the E3 with this having a, uh, a power button on here, we can actually run this without a hose, so we'll t first take the, uh, voltage and wattage with the canister alone, and then we'll attach the hose and the power nozzle and uh, take readings there too. So let's start this up. I do hate this. This thing just does not like European plugs for whatever reason. Let's turn the nozzle off. So I know using the cone in here is going to be a little bit restrictive, but the uh, inlet here is a little bit smaller than the vein area. And if we have a smaller inlet or a smaller area than we do... F <laughs> How do I word this? Um, if the area we're measuring is smaller than the vein, then it's going to concentrate the airflow into kind of a smaller point and give us readings that are um, higher than they should be. So I am going to go ahead and use the cone, although I know that's going to result in a little bit of a reduction, but I guess, you know, power here doesn't really matter too much. You know, it's more what we're gonna see at the end of the hose and at the nozzle that's most important, so whatever. Anyways... on it got it in standby mode so we'll just turn this 
on and take the Nice snug connection here, so no need for tape aside from covering this hole. <laughs> Maybe a little tape wouldn't have hurt. kind of like vibrating loose. I know this nozzle is kind of a jumper when I put the uh, suction gauge on there, so I'm just going to turn the brush roll off, take the airflow, and then we'll do the suction. That seems to be our max. So we're gonna try to do this. It's gonna be difficult to do one-handed. Actually, let's see if I can. Yeah, I can tell we're still not getting a full seal here, but you know, it's about the best I can do. brush all on.
So yeah, the D4 is at least, you know, in terms of design, an interesting machine. It offers pretty good power, although I have heard that they've been discontinued, which is a little strange because they've had a a full-size canister, and then they had the compact canisters, like they used to have the C3.1, and then they had the K-series as the compact, and then uh, the D-series was supposed to replace the C-series, and the E-series was meant to replace the K-series, but the K-series is still going, to my knowledge, which is a little odd, but yeah. Whatever.